Hi, we will see what is breadth first search or else level order traversal in trees. So, in this tree, if we traverse the element level by level, it is called level order traversal or breadth first search. Let's say this is level 1, this is level 2, and this is level 3. First, we need to traverse all the elements in level 1. And then we need to traverse all the elements from level 2 and then we need to traverse all the elements in level 3. So if we traverse like this level by level, it is called breadth first search or else level order traversal. So we will see how to implement this level order traversal. So to implement this level order traversal, we can use queue data structure. We can initialize the queue with root element at first. And then we need to do three things. First thing is pop the element from the queue. Second thing is add the popped element to a list. Third element is, third thing is, we need to push the children's back to the queue. We have to do these three steps iteratively for each and every level till we traverse all the elements. Let's, let's try this uh, algorithm. So, uh, okay, and before that, uh, First, we check the size of the queue because the size of the queue tells us the number of elements present in that level. For example, while starting, uh, level 1 will always have only one element because there will be only one root element. So, here the size of the queue is 1. It means that level 1 has only one element. So let's say this is the BFS list. We can say that there is only one element in level 1. Okay, now at level 1 we need to do th these three things. So first we pop the element from the queue and save it in a temporary uh, variable and then we add that element to the list at step 2 and step 3 we push the children back to the queue the children of 3 are 9 and 20 so we, we add them to the queue so level 1 is now completed now coming to level 2 so again here we first check the size of the queue the size of it we have two elements to be added so for level 2 again it's three steps so first we pop 9 we add 9 to the list as step 2 and then we need to push the children of 9 back to the queue so for 9 there are no left or right children so we have nothing to add back to the queue so next element we can again pop this element and add to the list and as step 3 we should add the child elements back to the queue the child elements for 20 or 15 and 7 okay so now level 2 is completed, we have popped 2 elements. Now for level 3 again, before starting level 3, we check the size of the queue. The size of the queue is again 2. So it means that we have 2 elements to pop in level 3. So first step, popping the element from queue and then pushing the children of 15 to back to the queue we don't have any 
children for 15 so nothing to pop so again we pop 7 then we add 7 to the list there is no children for 7 as well to add back to the queue so now the queue is queue gets empty there is nothing to pop from the queue now so in this stage we can stop this approach and we can say that this is the BFS traversal what we have and this small disk represents each level for example 3 is level 1 9 and 20 are level 2 15 and 7 are level 3 so th we can do a BFS so we will try coding this approach so we have a tree node with a value and left and right pointers and two constructors let's remove this so what we can do is first we can create a list to store the bfs now we can of keynote okay we can first initialize the queue with root node and then till we update all the elements We can run this loop. Okay. So once we come inside the loop, the first thing we what we need to do is we need to get the size of the queue. And then we need to pop those many elements from the queue. And also each element requires a new list. So do three things as discussed here. First pop the element, add to the list and then pushing it to children. So first popping the element. And then adding the to the parent node. After that, we need to push the children to the queue. If uh, If okay. so after each for each level after the list is created we need to add those to the main list Let's define this and define symbol Q Q 
Viewers present view. Method push. Okay, for Q it should be add. Okay, let's try now. what it says bfs dot add or parent level list of integer not be converted okay this should be list of list of integer okay okay Let's make a submit in this. Okay, so the base case is if root is null. This case, let's do it here. So, if root is null, we can return the empty list what we have. Okay, okay, it has root. So, basically, we are traversing the elements level by level, and here we have traversed the elements left to right so what happens is after we pull the node we first add the left child and then we add the right child so in case if the question they are asked if they ask us to travel right to left for example if they are if they are asked to travel right to left it should look like 3 20 and 9 in that case what we can do is First, we can add the right node and then we can add the left node. So, if we do this way, then the traversal will, will become right to left. For example, 3 and then from right to left 29 and then from right to left 715. So, this is how we can change the left to right and right to left direction. So that's it. This is how BFS is implemented. Hi, we will see how to do a binary tree zigzag level order traversal. So usually in a level order traversal, we traverse the tree level by level. So here in zigzag traversal, so what we need to do is we need to change the directions in each and every level. For example, let's say this is level one. This is level 2 and this is level 3. In level 1, we need to traverse from left to right. In level 2, we need to traverse from right to left. And again in level 3, we need to traverse from left to right. So let's say this is 1, 2, 3. So what will happen is on levels 1, 3, 5, etc. For all the odd levels, we need to traverse from left to right and for all the even levels we need to traverse from right to left so let's see how to implement this so before this we'll see how we have implemented the normal binary tree level order traversal where all the in all the levels we have traversed from left to right we will take this code and we will reuse it here. Okay, so now what will happen is in this code, all for all the levels we are going to traverse in left to right. <coughs> okay. Now here, what we can do is we can have a variable called levels and start with 1 
and after each level we can implement the level so now here if the level is R sorry if the level is even then we need to reverse the elements so uh, let's see how to reverse the array list reverse array list okay so it says we have to use this method to reverse So what we are doing is for even for uh, for odd elements it is left to right whenever we have an even level we are traversing from right to left so we are reversing the direction for even uh, levels alone. so we will try running the score cannot find symbol level Okay. Okay, let's submit. Okay, so this is working. So that's it. That's it. We we can do a zigzag traversal. If in case uh, if if you are not asked to use any built-in functions like this. And in that case, what we can do is here while adding the element, if the level is even, then if it is R, we can add it as usual. If it is even, then we can add the list like this so here what happens is uh, let's say 920 first first we add 9 in the list and then when we see 20 we again add 20 at the first position so this way the list gets reversed whenever we add the elements we, will, we are going to add at the front only so the list will start populating in reverse way so this way we can reverse let's try running this code yeah it is working as well so this is how we can check if the level is even level or odd level and reverse the elements Hi, we will see how to do binary tree right side view. So, this is a tree. So, now here, when we look this tree from right side, we need to return what all the elements we can see. So, basically, here, how we can implement this is we need to do a level order traversal. And in level order travel, so let's say if you are doing from left to right direction. So, whatever the last element we see in that level, we have to return. For example, level 1, it is 1. In level 2, we have 2 and 3. In level 3, we have 5 and 4. So, when we look from right side, the last element alone we can see. So, in each level, if we select only the last element, in left to right traversal we will get the right side view so we will see how to implement this so again uh, 
let's take the BFS code whatever we have and paste it here okay okay now here we only need list of images Okay, now we have done a binary tree level order traversal and we are having all the elements uh, in the tree. So now instead of all the elements, we need to make sure if we are adding the last element alone in, into the list. So how we can do uh, this is, so while inserting inside the list, we can see if it is the last element or not. How we can see is if i is equal to level c is minus 1 then it means it is the last element in the level so if we insert only the last element inside the level we can get the right side view yeah so similarly if in case in the question if they ask to uh, find the left side view then we can take only the first element in all the levels and if we return that way we will get the left side view for example so here inside instead of the last element if you do something like this and it is going to return 1 2 1 5 so this will be the left side view of the binary tree similarly in case in question if they ask us to return uh, the top view so from the top view we can see the leftmost element and the rightmost element so here in each and every level we can add the leftmost element and rightmost element that is the first and last element uh, and in, the, in that case we can achieve the top view as well hi we will discuss about in order traversal in binary trees so according to in order traversal we first have to traverse to the left side and then we have to traverse the root and then we have to traverse to the right side so this left root right traversal has to take place in every node in the tree so let me explain how this tree will be traversed according to not a traversal so first taking one as a root we first have to traverse to the left side of one now taking two as a root we first need to traverse the left side of two left side of two is null there is nothing to print or travel anymore so it returns back so now two as a node there is nothing in the left side and left side traversal is completed so now two now root can be traversed so two can be printed now now after left root it goes to right side there is nothing in right so again it comes back now 2 as a no or 2 as a root left root right is completed now it goes back to 1 now 1 as a root left side of 1 is completed so now root 1 can be printed so for one left side is completed root is traversed now it goes to right side now three as a root first we need to traverse to left side there is nothing in left side so it comes back now left side of three is completed so root can be traversed now, now after uh, 
root is done we go to right side direction there is nothing in right side as well so it goes back now 3 as a root or not left root right is completed now it goes back to 1 now so now all the elements has been traversed so we can say that 2 1 3 is the in order traversal for this binary tree now let's go to lead code and see how it can be implemented okay so uh, we are going to implement this recursively <coughs> sorry so here okay we'll it's starting with root node so first we have to traverse to left side direction and after that if when all the uh, left side of root is completed then we can print the root the root value so after left and root is completed we can start traversing to right side direction okay so this is how we do it recursively and to break this recursion this recursion will be break when the root is null because when the root is null we cannot have a left or right side so here we break the root so now return type of this method is a list so we need to create one variable of list So we can return this list here. Okay, and after all these traversal are completed, we can return the final <coughs> list. <coughs> yeah, let's run this code. Okay, let, let me run this uh, code for this binary tree. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm try one second. So I'm trying to implement this this tree here one two three. Let me run this code. So 213 is the in order traversal it is printing, and 213 is the in order traversal which we got as well. So instead of printing, if we add it to this to the list, the list will have the right in order traversal. Okay. So, uh, let's discuss this one, two, and three. So, this is the tree we are trying to do in order traversal. And let's discuss if it is working as we checked. For example, Okay, let's have a breakpoint here. So, this implementation starts from the root. So, first, the root the element 1 is visited and then it goes to left side of 1. So, now 
from 1 it comes to 2 and from 2 now it goes to left side of 2 left side of 2 is null so there's nothing to print so it, it returns back to 2 so as far as 2 is concerned all the elements to the left is completed so now 2 as a root will be added to the list so left root is added and then after left side and root is completed now uh, right side of the 2 is traversed now right side of 2 is also null so it return back to 2 again now as there is nothing right side from 2 it returns back to 1 yeah now now 1 the left side for 1 is completed so now 1 as a root will be printed or added to the list here and after 2 and 1 is completed now it goes to right side of 1 yeah now it, it comes to 3 now 3 as a root it goes to left side first so the left side of 3, three is null so it returns to 3 now 3 as a root will be added to list and then after left root now it goes to right side now right side is also null so it comes back to 3 and it comes back to the original list because for 2 1 3 all the left root right direction is completed now this final list will be returned yeah, it comes back to 1 and checks if everything is completed now the, the output will be returned as 213 so this, this is how the code is also implemented as we discussed now let's quickly check another a tree with, with three levels okay so now for this tree the in order traversal will be uh, let's iterate so from 3 now 3 as a root first it goes to left side now 9 as a root first it goes to left side nothing to be printed it comes back so left side is completed now 9 root will be printed and then from 9 it goes to right side again nothing to print it come back to 9 and it comes back to 3 so as 3 as a root left side is completed so root element 3 can be printed now we have to traverse the right side direction of 3 now it comes to 20 now 20 as a root first it comes to 15 now 15 as a root it again goes to left side nothing to be printed now it comes back and for 15 as a root left side is completed so root can be printed now it goes to right side again nothing to be printed it comes to 15 now it goes back to 20 now 20 as a root left side is completed so 20 can be printed and it goes to 7 now 7 as a root first it goes to left side nothing is there it comes back and then root gets printed then it goes to right side again nothing is there it comes back and it comes back to 20 now as all the elements now from 20 we go to 3 now as all the elements are traversed this will be the in order traversal for this tree let's try to debug with this test case as well so this is the test case and let me Oh, this tree as well here 3 9 20 sorry three, nine, 20 15 7 okay let's
let's try to debug okay <clears throat> let's start so first starts from 3 oh sorry I stopped it okay so now first it starts from 3 and it goes to left side of 3 so left side of 3 is 9 it, it reaches 9 so from 9 it goes to left side of 9 left side of 9 is null nothing to print so it comes comes back to 9 now now all the left side elements of 9 is printed so 9 as a root will be added to list and it goes back goes to right side of 9 now right side of 9 is also null so it again comes to 9 so now 9 as a notice root is over it, it goes back to 3 so now 3 as a node left side of 3 is completed so now 3 as a root can be added to the list now after left root is completed now right side of 3 will be traversed so uh, it goes to 20 20 right it goes to yeah from 20 it has gone to 15 now 15 left side is null it has gone to null now it come, comes back to 15 again now 15 left side is completed so it again comes to root 15 is added to the list and it goes to right side of 15 right side of 15 is null so it will come back to 20 yeah it comes back to 20 so 20 as a root left side of 20 is completed now 20 as a root will be added to the list and after adding it, it will go to right side of 20 which is 7 now 7 as a root first we will go to the left of 7 left of 7 is null so it will return back to 7 now 7 as a root will be added to the list now it goes right side to 7 right side of 7 is null again it comes back to 7 now all the elements are traversed so from 7 it will go back to 20 from 20 it will go back to 3 yeah it comes back to 3 so all the elements are 3 are completed so now the list will be returned return list return yeah, yeah. So 9, 3, 15, 27 is the in order traversal uh, which we got here as well. Let's try running this. It is passing. Let's try submitting this. Yeah, it is completed and it says 100% good solution. Hi, we will see what is a pre order traversal in binary trees. So according to pre-order traversal, we first have to visit the root and then the left and then the right side direction. So for this tree, uh, first we have to visit the root, we will start from 1. So when, our, when we are visiting 1, first we should print 1 as a root. So root is completed after that it goes to left side direction. Two, now 2 as a root is printed now it will again go to left side direction nothing is there come back now root is completed left is completed it will go to right side direction nothing is there come back come back comes back to 1 so now 1 as a root root is completed left is completed now it goes back to right now 3 as a root first 3 will be printed and then it goes to left side direction nothing is there it goes to right side direction nothing is there it comes back comes back to 1 so this is the pre-order traversal uh, for this binary tree 
so similarly for this tree first three as a root three is printed and then it goes to left side direction now nine as a root nine is printed and then it goes to left side direction nothing is there comes back right side nothing is there now three as a root three root is completed left side is left is completed now it goes to right side now 20 as a root 20 is printed and then goes to left side now 15 as a root 15 is printed and then it goes to left side so root left and then right side nothing is there it goes back here now 20 as a root is completed left side is completed it goes to 7 now 7 as a root is printed and then it goes to left side nothing is there right side nothing is there and that's it so this is the pre-order traversal for this tree let's try to implement this so this is the implementation so first whenever we see a root we are printing it after that we are going to left side direction and once the left side direction is completed we go to right side direction recursively and when all the trees are visited we return the list yeah that's it maybe i will run through this with one example which we saw so one two three yeah now let's try to to take up this so first it starts with root 1 now it's in, in pre order step cell first we need to print root and then left and right so 1 will first be added to the list and then it goes to left side direction now the root is in 2 now 2 as a root will be added to the list and then it goes to left side direction left side it is null so it come it will come back to 2 now now 2 as a root is, is added to the list and left side direction is completed now the right side direction of 2 will be traversed it is also null it will again come back to 2 now 2 as a root left root right is completed now it will go back to 1 Yeah. so one as a root is printed and then the left side of one is completed now it will go to right side of one which is three now three as a root first it will be added to the list after that it will go to left side direction left is null so it will again come back to three and then it will go to right side direction right is again null it will come back to 1 and as everything is completed the rest will be written now yeah so that's it hi you will see what is a post order traversal in binary tree so according to post order traversal First we go to the left side direction and then the right side direction and then at last we go to the root. So let's traverse this binary tree according to post order traversal. So now 1 as a root first it goes to left side direction. Now 2 as a root first it goes to left side direction there is nothing in left side comes back. Now 2 as a root left side is completed it goes to right side direction nothing is there comes back. Now 2 as a root left and right are completed and then at last 2 as a root will be printed. After that it goes to 1. Now 1 as a root left side traversal is completed. So it goes to 
right side direction now 3 as a root first it goes to left side direction nothing is there it comes back and then it goes to right side direction nothing is there it comes back now 3 as a root left right is completed so 3 is printed and goes back to 1 so now 1 as a root left is completed right is completed and at last root 1 is printed so this is the post order traversal for this tree now for this tree let's try post order traversal so it is left root and then right so now 3 as a root first it goes to left side direction now 9 as a root left side direction nothing is there right nothing is there so first 9 will be printed it comes back to root so now 3 as a root left is completed now to go to right side direction now 20 as a root first it goes to 15 15 as a root first it goes to left side direction nothing is there and then right side nothing is there so 15 as a root left right is completed and then root as 15 is printed it comes back to 20 now 20 as a root left side direction is completed then it goes to 7 now 7 as a root first goes to left and then right and then 7 as a root is printed it goes back to 20 now 20 as a root left right is completed now 20 as a root is printed now 3 as a root, left side is completed, right side is completed, at last 3 as a root is printed. So this is the post order traversal for this binary tree. Now let's see the implementation. Now this is the code implementation. We have done it recursively. So first we go to the left side direction. Once all the left side directions is completed, we go to the right side direction. Once all right side direction is completed, we add the root element. Yeah, let's try debugging this implementation with one example. So let's take this as an example which we discussed as well. So the output for this should be two, three, one. Yeah, two, three, one. Let's try to debug this. Now this starts from 1 first it goes to left side now from 1 it has come to 2 now 2 as a root first it goes to left side left side of 2 is null So it returns back to 2. Now, two for 2 left side is completed. Now it goes to right side of 2. Right side of 2 is again null. So it comes back to 2. So for 2 left and right is completed. So now root will be root uh, 2 as a root will be added to the list. And it goes back to 1 now. So for 1, left side is completed. Now it will go to 3. Now 3 as a root. First it will go to left side of 3. Left side of 3 is null. So it will return back to 3. So for 3 as a root, left side is completed. Now we will go to right side of 3. Right side of 3 is again null. Now it will come back to root. 
sorry the system is little slow yeah now it comes back to 3 now 3 as a root left right side direction are completed now 3 as a root will be added to this list and it goes back to 1 now now 1 as a root left side is completed right side is completed so left right and then root can be added now to the list yeah so this is the output now let's try and submitting this code 